Hi everyone, today I'm going to be trying a product that was sent to me by this uh, company. I'm going to tell you all about it. It is a color depositing shampoo, uh, which I really desperately need. Been wanting to try something like this for a while, so when they reached out to me, I was very happy. It's not paid, it's just they sent it to me. Let's open it. Trying to open the package. Um, apparently failing at it because I'm not good at it. Oh, I have scissors. I should not be using these because these are hair cutting scissors. But oh well. So we've got it. So this is it. Such a small bottle and 300 ml. So very impressive. The thing is, I'm going to cut my hair first, so I'm going to do that, and then I'm going to wash it with this shampoo. I'll let you know a little bit more about it, because it seems very interesting. So I've just cut my hair, uh, there is a video of that. So I've got this Evermore shampoo, um, I'm going to tell you all about it in a little bit, but first let me explain to you why I need this so desperately. So I've been coloring my hair all kinds of colors, you know that. I have been working actively to destroy my hair for the past year or so, and I really wanted to be kind of healthier, and I was looking for something that could help, and for some reason they just reached out to me, and I think, okay, this is perfect, this is exactly what I was looking for, uh, let's hope it works. We're still dealing with the black length. That's not something I've been able to work on despite my many efforts. And the roots, my roots are gray. Really, really gray. I dyed it brown, so um, it is kind of brown, like up to here, and then brown inside. I'm not sure you can see it because this is not good lighting, but if you can't see it, I'll insert a clip. I was just editing a video for Patreon and I just noticed how terrible it looks, so I'm going to insert a clip of that video here so you have an idea on real lighting, how it looked like. My hair definitely needs some color, but I was struggling to dye it because I am afraid of um, causing some more damage. So let me tell you about it and then we'll try it. I've never tried it, I'm trying it with you, so let's see. Okay, so what this is, is semi-permanent color depositing shampoo. I hope I said it correctly. If I didn't, I'll put it here. <laughs> let me do the influencer thing. Yeah, Evermore, I hope I'm saying correctly. And they have five different colors. I'm going to put them here. And if you know me, I'm pretty sure you think I went with a blue or <laughs> purple. But no, that's not actually what I've done. I went with a kind of gray because my hair is getting very gray. And I thought it would be kind of cool to grow out the gray. And then I'll have like a nice canvas for all kind of color I want. I thought it would be fun to make, start like with a gray and the gray will mix with the black and hopefully tone the brown a little bit. And I'd be so excited if I could have like a gray tone to my hair, like just less brown. That's what I would love and prefer. But maybe I'll need like five or four washes before I get that. But I'm going to show you the first and then we'll see the rest. As far as I understand, this is a shampoo, has a little bit of color. You put it on for five minutes and then rinse it off. So you could wear gloves, not to stain your hands, but you know, we both know that's not gonna happen. The particular one I have is the S5, is a silver gray color protective shampoo. And it is made with a variety of natural fruit oils to nourish the hair ceramide essence to moisturize and lock color and improve the color of dyed hair and maintain colorful and shiny hair. I can't breathe. <laughs> I know I have my glasses, but I have trouble breathing the small letters. So we're going to go to the closest bathroom to the studio, uh, which is not my usual bathroom where I film. Uh, the lighting is not as good, but I'm pretty sure um, I can show you how to shampoo. <laughs> a small bathroom. <laughs> okay, so I'm back, I've washed my hair, it is sort of dry right now, and I think there is not... I think the color did not... Uh, 
I don't think it works for my color, honestly. So this was the first wash. They do tell you maybe it needs more than one wash because this is not dye, this is just shampoo. What I'm going to do is whenever it's time to wash my hair again, I'll come back and show you the result of the second wash and so on and so forth. I left it on for about six minutes. Next time I'm definitely going to do the 10 minutes and I'll let you know. So after a couple of washes, I noticed that my gray hair started to look a lot more blonde and that was very surprising. And then I decided to just go ahead and use it like sort of a dye. So I put it on my hair like a dye for 30 minutes and then washed it. And I still got the blonde. So I guess in my hair, the gray just makes blonde hair. Uh, so I'm going to dye my hair with semi-permanent dye and then use the shampoo to just uh, to revive it a little bit when I'm washing about that. And maybe I'll tell you about how that goes. But until then, thank you for watching until the end. It's very cool of you. See you next time.